Okay, today we're going to put the straps which we've sewn and the pockets on. And it's actually, we do one half and then we do the other half. And the final stages is joining the bag together. What you need to do to get to this stage, and I'm going to combine things so we can show you how it all goes together. You would do it in steps, do the straps first, then the pockets. You've got four body pieces. Two of them you iron in half and get a crease that way. If you're doing the other bag the other way, you turn it this way. So you use the same pattern pieces, but you do it that way if you're doing the long bag, which I should have put out. So I've ironed that with a crease. I'm going to have two of these because those two are the lining. So they just put to one side. I'm then going to measure, now I said five centimetres, but I honestly think it's better with six centimetres. You could make it further apart. It is a design thing that you can decide. And you put a pin there, each side of the crease. It's in the middle of the bag. How many centimetres? I'm doing seven. You start with five. I'm going to change it for next year to six. So it's six centimetres either side. Because you're going to hang that. If you put the, like that together, the bag is going to flop like that. That's for stability. And that comes out in their folio. So I've already done this one. My other strap's over there. So what I'm going to do is I take my strap and I put... I always put this open edge in the middle so that it looks better for appearance. Then taking the pins, I'm going to pin two pins, one there on each part of the strap. And you want to make sure the students have this not twisted like that that you need to check. And they only pin it. Two pins works best than one pin in the middle. I've learnt that lesson while teaching them. So two pins, and that is in position in the bag. Then they can take those pins out. Make sure that's right, that, that they don't sew it. So you do that on both your bags. Then your pocket, and I've done it here, it must be placed the same distance from the top, like that. So just same distance because it's all going to match up. If it doesn't match up here at the sides, we hide that when we sew the bag together. To do your pocket, take, and I'm just doing this because that's what I have. These are from the flat thins if the students want to buy, and I iron that like that with a crease, so it must be ironed and I'll do that in a minute. So have we cut those pockets Yeah, you did last week. If you haven't, the pocket's here. So you actually have one or two pockets, four body pieces and two strap pieces with two bits of wadding. All right, so that's ready for preparation. Then you put this I'm just going to take it off this one. This is where their colour coordination design comes in. Pretend that's off there. I then think about, and I'll leave the pocket off for a minute. This is how I do it in class but I want to show you different stages. Doesn't help when you get a bent pin. Then this goes on like this and it matches up. This is going to be the inside or the outside of the bag. And you do two halves exactly like that. And you pin 1.5. Now what I do is I know where 1.5 is at automatically, but the kids, the students do not. So I always put one pin in and get them to pin. They are going to pin across 
those straps, leave those pins in there. And then students are to sew right across the top there, 1.5. It's the only time they sew across pins. Those pins must stay in to you sew. So back and forth and you sew right across there. Then when they've sewn right across there, you're going to push, press that right up. Just bear in mind those straps must come over the end or up a little bit and they must be caught. You can't sew that narrowly because it won't hold the straps in. So make sure that's pressed up like that with the iron. Then a trick is pretend this is sewn, finger pleating. You pleat it along like that, right along the top when it's sewn and it helps the crease, the seam right on the top, then you press it. What I would like is everybody get up to that stage and sew that and I'm going to sew it in a minute. 